All right, guys, so today we're going to be making our keto pizza. It's going to be absolutely delicious, and the bread is zero carbs. So, guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and give me a thumbs up. So let's get right to it. Now we're going to start off with our cheese. So pour the cheese in a bowl there. Now once we pour it in the bowl, we're basically going to add some egg to it, and that's going to be our crust. So break up the egg, get those all whipped up in there. Then once you get those in there, we're going to add a little bit of ingredients in there. Now we have our garlic powder, our onion powder. And I'll put all of the measurements in the description below. And we're going to add a little bit of oregano in there. Now once we add the oregano, we're going to add some Italian seasoning. So very limited amount of seasonings that you're going to need, as well as our pepper flakes. And that kind of gives it a little kick. Now, all you're going to do at this point is just kind of mix everything up together. Just get all of that mixed up because this is basically your crust. Zero carbs. So very healthy for you. And like get everything laid out. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to make our crust for our pizza. So kind of lay it all out. And I'm going to do like the round look today. So you're just going to spread it out into that circle pizza shape. Now, if you like, you can kind of put it in a square pan. If you if you want to make that style of pizza, that's completely fine. It's definitely your choice. But all we're going to do is just kind of get everything all spread it out evenly. All right, and once we get that all spread it out, now guys, one part that I did leave out is that I am going to put it in the oven just to cook for about 10 minutes because I wanted to kind of have that crisp to it. So it's been cooked right now for about 10 minutes. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to take a spatula, kind of get it all up, and then I'm going to flip it over. So that way the crisp part is going to be where all the sauce and, and all the dressings is going to be. And when we put it back in the oven, that'll get the bottom part back crisp again. So whatever type of sauce that you want to use of your choice is completely fine. However much that you want to put on there. But one thing that I love about a good pizza is that I love a pizza that is not dry. So I like a lot of sauce on mine. So we're going to get all of that all spread it up in there. All right, now once we get that all spread it up in there, what we're going to do is that, of course, we're going to add our cheese on there. So get you some shredded mozzarella cheese, add that on top. And I love a cheesy pizza as well. So I'm going to add a good amount there. And then at this point, you just put on your toppings. So whatever toppings that you choose. Um, so I love bell peppers. So I'm going to put the green bell peppers as well as the red bell peppers in there. But, um, you know, whatever you want to choose to put on there is completely fine. I'm adding in some bacon. Now, I made the bacon beforehand, kind of chopped it up beforehand. Um, you know, just a little bit of preparation before. So after the bacon, we're going to put in some pepperonis. So, guys, like I mentioned before, it's however much you like. Whatever toppings that you like is just the same concept. So we're going to get everything all laid out there plenty of pepperoni and then after the pepperoni what we're going to do i love banana peppers so we're going to top it off with some banana peppers place them however you like no particular order and then top it off with more cheese like i said i love cheese so guys this is very simple to make give me a thumbs up once again and hit that subscribe button all right this is basically how it's going to look so this is your keto zero carb crust pizza. Pop it in the oven on 350. Now I'm going to put it in there for about 20 minutes, but I'm going to check it like in 10 minutes just to kind of see how it is. But once it all cooks, guys, to your liking, however you like it, then you want to put it on broil just to kind of get the basing on the top a little bit of crisp on that as well. And that's basically pretty much it. That's your keto pizza. Um, zero carbs, like I mentioned before, with your crust. Very simple to make. 20 minute to make. You know, um, you don't have to get rid of pizza just because you're, you know, watching what you eat. So guys, hit that subscribe button once again and give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching Kick Weight with Keisha.